Hey guys, it's Coach Rick from Paddle Synergy, and today's workout is going to be an all-around workout. Now, there's going to be some equipment that you're going to need, but if you don't have certain equipment, that's fine. I'll have some kind of workaround that you could potentially use as suggestions. But that being said, let's get on to what equipment that you're going to need today. You're going to need a paddle, right? You're going to need a paddle. Um, also, what you're going to need is you're going to need dumbbells, right? No heavier than five pounds. Okay, if you have a two pound or three pound dumbbell, that's even better. Okay, uh, what you're also going to need is not necessarily, but if you have a stability ball, that'd be great. But you need something to sit on, like a chair, a bench, but more if you have more so a stability ball. And then lastly, you're going to need some kind of resistance band that you can put around your ankles and in your knees, specifically a booty resistance band. Now, if you don't have one of these and you have something that like a basketball or a soccer ball or even a slam ball, right? That'll be a big help that's going to be the workaround. Now, even if you don't have a slam ball or resistance ball, you'll be able to still do the workout. What I'm just going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to squeeze certain muscles, either your inner thighs or obviously your glutes, okay? And that's going to be all we're going to need for the workout today as far as equipment's concerned. Now, the workout's going to comprise of a number of exercises. You got your primary and your secondary, or the transition, the primary workout we do twice. So it's going to be 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off, 30 seconds on, and then we're going to move on to the next exercise. Before we move on to that next exercise, we're going to actually do a transition exercise, which is which we're only going to do once, which will be a push-up, jumping jack, etc. Now, finally, before we get onto the workout, I want to give a shout out to Cali Paddler. This workout has been brought to you by Cali Paddler, and you can check out what they have in stock as far as clothing is concerned at calipaddler.com. And in so doing, if you purchase something, you could go ahead and put the Paddle Synergy discount code to get yourself a discount. So check them out at Cali Paddler, calipaddler.com. And um, another video I want to give out, or another shout out I want to give out to Pukea Designs. Johnny Pukea just put out a video last week about cooped up tips okay i want you to take a look at that video watch it it's about um understanding how to get your catch it's a really great video it's simple it's easy and if you haven't already checked it out already be sure to check it out i'll put the link in the description below all right so before that before all that uh, with all that being said let's go ahead and before we actually get to the workout we're going to do a four minute warm up so i want you to go ahead and start running in place okay now the previous videos I didn't have uh, I didn't have warm ups, but I think at this point now all we really want to do is really stress the point of we really want to get the body moving, really want to get the body moving. So we're going to be doing a number of exercises, okay? Before we actually get into the workout, we want to get our we want to get that blood moving. Okay, the next exercise what you're going to do you're just jogging in place. We're going to do jumping jacks in three, two, one, and go. Now, anytime you feel you need pause or stop, by all means, do so. Okay. Next exercise, what we're going to do, drop lunges. Tell you when, I'll count down. Three second count down. Here we go. Drop lunges in three, two, one, go. Just in case you want to see what a drop lunge looks like. Yeah, okay, it just comes down, jump it up. Your next exercise will be squat opens. We're going to squat down and we're going to open up that chest. Really squeeze that upper back as we come up. Squat opens in three, two, one. Okay, you're going to squat down. And open up. The next exercise, we're going to get down on the ground. We're going to do shoulder taps. We're going to do them slow, though. I will demonstrate shoulder taps in three, two, one. Okay, you're going to get down in a high plate position. And then as you tap that shoulder, as you're going to do a slow motion, you're going to squeeze that lat. And I really want you to think about squeezing that lat as you bring that hand through that opposite shoulder. And note 
The arm that stabilizes you. I want you to think about that's your top hand when you put the blade in the water. It ain't one of the things that I don't, I, if you want to try it, break that elbow and see what happens. I hate top hand elbow broken. All right, next exercise is gonna be mountain climbers in three, two, one, go. Your next exercise will be push-ups. Push-ups in three, two, one, go. Now looking for quality movement versus quantity. So take your time. Allow your body to adapt. Just cranking them out ain't gonna really get you anywhere. So take your time, get your body to understand the movement and understanding the stability that you establish every time when you bring yourself to a high plate position. Do a couple more and last. Okay, we're gonna give you guys 30 seconds to collect yourself. So the first exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna get on the ball or seat stability ball. I want you to grab your dumbbells. Let's use the F18s. So I want you to sit like you would typically sit, whether you're gonna be in an OC1 or dragon boat, however you want to sit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually you're gonna just get one dumbbell. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up. Three, and you're gonna drop the hand. Pick one, up, go. come across, here we go. So what I'm doing is, I'm transferring my here, here. So I'm coming around, notice too at the same time, say, and I'll show it on when I get it on the other angle. I'm picking up so I can bring that weight to the other hand, to this side, I'm setting it down, okay? And really when you come out for it, really, about making the rainbow. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, now I'm gonna go on this side. I really want you to watch what I'm doing with my bottom arm or my bottom hand, okay? Picking up, scratch the itch, scratch the itch. If too many Three, calories, pick two, up when you wanna fling up. One, Just pick it up and set. Actually, man, I should've went to the other side. <laughs> so I was just dragging, well, I did dragon boat, so. Be one side, but if you do the other side, do the other side. I really want you to work on picking up and set. Go ahead and move on to the other side. So pick up, switch here, drop the hand. Now notice how my hand, top hand, just drops, and I meet that three hand here. Two, uh, one. No awkward hand. Rest. Okay, let's go ahead. What I'm going to have you do in this transition exercise? You're either going to get on the ball or you're going to stand in a high plane position. Okay, and you're gonna just work on squeezing Three, your elbows. Two, Squeeze one, your elbows together go. and really activate those lats. Just think about bringing those elbows in, squeezing that chest, rounding that back, really feeling that whole cavity, that whole torso being activated. Your chest, your core, your lats, everything, even your shoulders. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, go ahead and get back on the stability ball. Your next exercise that you're gonna do, and if you have your resistance band, go ahead and get your resistance band. Put it around your knees. If you don't have a resistance Three, band, grab your ball. Two, one. So what you're gonna go. do, you're just gonna open up, out, and drop the hand. Drop the hand. Think about that, what we're doing here with that bottom hand. You're going up, you're grabbing that weight, and you're dropping the weight. Grab and back. Grab and back. At the same time, you want to feel that tension on your hips as you're going forward. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, switch hands. Or if you're dragging boat, stay on the same side. So what you don't see me doing is this, right? So what I am doing is I'm leaning out, I'm grabbing, and I'm dropping my hand. Pick it up, set. Okay, I really want to work that grab and sit back. Grab, sit back. Pick up, grab. Not a pull. What I'm doing is if I was actually doing the stroke, 
I'd be pulling with my torso. So I'm establishing stability with that bottom end. I make that miracle happen when I make liquid into a solid right here. Boom. And then I just three. Let my body do the work. Okay. Rest. And lots. Next exercise gonna be transition exercise. We're gonna do mountain climbers. Get in the high plane position. And again, think about the space between your two three, hands right now. Two, one. Go. As you're hanging in this high plane position and you're moving your feet, think about the space between your two hands, how it's equal. You want that same equilibrium every time you put that blade in the water and you get that grab. You establish stability from both hands. Sometimes, if not more times than not, we favor one hand over the other when we put that blade in the water. Eventually, it gets equal, right? If you do it somewhere after your foot or after your ankle or even behind the knee, you're too late. Three, two. One, rest. <sighs> All right, so let's go ahead and grab the two dumbbells, okay? What I want you to do, we're gonna be standing up. You're gonna set, come out. Set, and come Three, out. Really make sure two, you bring your hips back. Three, go. <sighs> now, notice how this top hand makes the rainbow. What I wanna do is I want to bring that, engage that lat, and I want to think to get this bottom hand, or this top hand over the top, over the bottom hand. And all that bottom arm is doing is going straight, kicking up. Three, two, one, rest. Also, notice what I'm doing with my wrist, gang. You have to really focus on using, pick up with your wrist and elbows. Too many times I see paddlers, their, their, their wrists are too tight at the end of the stroke. Let Three. it go. Two, let it go. One. All right? You've done the work. The work is here, and you let it go. Boom! You should feel more work with those hands out in front of you with the weights, and then as you come back, you feel that work dissipate. That is how the stroke's supposed to feel like, gang. You get that work, and then you get the chance to reap, the, uh, reap what you sow or enjoy the fruits of your labor by feeling that boat move forward and ah, Two, ah, one, okay. rest. Now, just transition exercise. What I want you to do is I just want you to just do this, right? We're just gonna keep doing this. Both hands. Two, one, go. And I want you to, I want you to just pull and crank, pull and crank, pull and crank. Yeah, after five seconds of doing this, I'm already starting to feel a lactic acid build up. If you find yourself doing this a lot, or you find your forearms, your biceps getting tight just after the first 15 seconds of, or you know, getting into that paddle before it gets to the point where you, you're just so Three, tired, you don't even two, want. This is a byproduct one, of active rest. pull. You don't want to pull with that bottom arm again. You want to grab with those hands and pull with your body. Okay, your next exercise, you're going to grab that weight. You're just going to come up. One weight, you're going to come out. We're just going to out and back. Three. Two, out and back. One, now, this is just half a stroke, picking up and bringing it up. Now, obviously, if I wanted to do the full movement, I would do this, but right now we're just doing this, okay? Opening up. I forgot the booty band. <laughs> so let's have a booty band with me. It's okay. Three. Two, one. Okay, we're gonna switch sides. <sighs> Hope everyone's being safe, keeping themselves, practicing good uh, social distancing, staying healthy, Three, keeping your body two, moving. Okay, one, here, go. coming out. And what I'm doing is, as I bring that hand out, I'm bringing my hips back. I'm gonna load, get ready to go, right? When you bring this weight up, I want you to feel that lat get engaged. Feel those rhomboids, feel those traps. Try to squeeze that upper back. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, we're gonna do squat jumps for a transition exercise. Then you're gonna need your band or a medicine ball to squeeze the ball between your legs. Okay. Here we go, get ready for squat jumps. Three, two, 
One. And here we go. One. Okay, grab your booty ball, or booty band, or your ball. Okay, and you're gonna grab that one weight. We're gonna do somewhat of the same movement, but this time we're gonna work the set. So what I really want you to do is just get those legs out, shoulder width a little Three. bit wider, shoulder width apart. Three. Okay, one. out and set. Drop the hand. Make the rainbow, but as you make the rainbow, go forward then up. Too many powders go up then down. All right, they bring this top hand as you go up. And that's a problem about it, coach. Their top one being broke, and then they do this. It's too much. Just come up, break the elbow. Elbow and wrist are broken. And just go forward and up. Three, two, one. Okay. Rest. Thing about it is you pick up that hand, that top hand goes forward and up. Too many powders do this, and then they slam down. Okay? Bad news. Three, you have shoulder problems, two, one, having go. tennis elbow, it's probably because your Statue of Liberty, meaning your top hand is coming up and then slamming down. Get your hand out, out in front of you and set, okay? Make the rainbow. As you make the rainbow, that hand comes forward and out, forward and out, forward and out, right? Not up then forward, it's forward and up at the same time. Three, Woo! Two, one, Good job, gang. Rest. Okay, just gonna go ahead and keep that booty band or that ball. I will demonstrate. You're just gonna do a squat. You're gonna put that between your knees, and we're gonna squat down. Three, you're gonna feel it in those two, hip flexors. One, go. Now, if you have the booty band, just keep the booty band. If you don't have the booty band, but you have a ball. Now, if you don't have either, just bring them those those feet shoulder width apart. And just go straight down. Keeping that, notice how what I'm not doing is I'm not collapsing in, I'm just sitting down. Okay? Working that good posture. Three, two, one. Okay. Rest. You're gonna grab your paddle, you're gonna sit down. Okay, you're gonna have it like so. Hand directly across, you're gonna keep your hands out in front of you the whole time. And what Three, you're gonna do is you're gonna two, just simply one, go. set. Now get that arm across, okay? Get it across. We're working also, we're just working that grip strength. So you feel that T handle. Now if you don't have a paddle with you, you can do this with the dumbbell. when they do is they come in and they have this they've got to figure out okay well how do I get my body on top of it if I'm putting Three, this so two, get your arm out one, there go get your arm out there straighten it out get it across use that upper back rotation okay get that top hand to that other side of that glute opposite lat to opposite glute okay builder here we're gonna get into a high plank position okay now imagine when you're in this high plank position we're gonna start off with the left hand Three, the left two, hand is one, your top arm go. okay now break that one elbow how awkward that feels feel how the disconnect happens now reconnect your body get yourself locked that elbow okay now everything is back connected now break the right elbow Putting more strain, more work on that tricep and other, other muscles that are associated with the core. Now, lock that elbow and hold that high plank. How much easier that is. 
This is how you want to start, and this is how you're in this position you want to get to when you start your paddle. This. Okay, go ahead. What you're going to do is you're going to grab your weight. Okay, you're going to grab both dumbbells. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to squat and come down and just drop Three, the hands. You're going to squat two, and one, drop the hands. Go. I grab the weight, drop the hands. And I want you to do this. I want you to squeeze that upper back. Now ask yourself, do you really do this when you actually do your show with your bottom hand, or are you cranking, okay? Notice how I bring my hips back, shoot my hands out. I'm not doing it, I'm not squatting necessarily. Just kind of bringing my hips out and dropping my hands. I'm grabbing the weight, I feel the gravity at its most here, three, here, two, here, one, here. Rest. Now, mind you, the weight's still five pounds, but it feels so much different here than it does here, okay? Again, doing the work, you've done the work up front, let your body just do the rest. Three, Bring yourself two, to the blade, not the blade one, to you, right? Go. <sighs> now we're just going straight up and back, drop the hands. Feel the difference. The weight's still the same, but the how the perceived rate of effort changes the moment you drop your hands. But you're, what you're doing is you're getting upright, getting your body engaged, <sighs> squeezing those glutes, squeezing that core. <sighs> Opening up that chest. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, we're gonna do is we're gonna do uh, drop lunges. <laughs> Three, two, one, okay, go. Drop lunges. Next exercise, you're going to get back on the stability ball or your chair. You're going to grab both your dumbbells, or oh, I'm sorry, just one dumbbell. Three, two, one. Okay, grab that one dumbbell. What we're going to do is we're going to be driving the bus. Driving the bus, hands out. What I want you to do is I want you to, we're just going to not worry about running, we're just going to work Three, those shoulders, two, and we're driving one, the bus, stacking the hands. <sighs> oh, excuse me. <sighs> when you're doing this, make sure you're working out, protruding those arms out. Just feel a little bit of, you want to feel your lats, okay? If you're not feeling your lats, you're feeling your shoulders, reach out a little bit more, but don't lean, just get your arms out. Protrude your shoulders, protrude your, sh protrude your arms, and you feel those lats engage. Three, two, one. Try to not let the weight drop. Okay, again, so here's my arms. I don't feel my lats engage. I come out, now oh, I feel my lats, okay? So really get those arms out there. Think about reaching and grabbing with your lats. Two, one, go. So there's one paddler I was working with. He was six foot tall, tall guy, athletic. You know, and we're on sup, and you know what? He, by all means, physically should have just crushed me. And a lot of paddlers physically should have crushed, should crush me. Thing is, if you're grabbing with your forearms, my lats will outdo your forearms any day. So you want to grab with those lats, gang. You don't want to grab with just your hands. Think about grabbing Three, that back. Grab, two, grab, one, grab. Woo! We're going to do that. It's going to be the transition. I want your hands out, and I want you to just squeeze Think about bringing those lats in, bringing those lats in, squeeze those elbows, right? Kind of, yeah. Squeeze. Three. Squeeze. Two. Oh, oh. One. Go. Okay. Squeeze. You're just going to kind of pick up, squeeze, pick up, squeeze, pick up, squeeze. Woo! It's going to be the last workout right here. Okay. Really focus on getting those arms out. Woo! And really squeeze those lats. Really get those lats. Get those ground. Woo! Man, that's awesome. Three, <laughs> two, oh. rest. All right, that is the workout. So if you happen to want to do this around, I recommend doing this workout twice. So hit the timestamp below. Click the timestamp below to do round two. Again, this is really about working Three, that core, working two, that back glutes, working one, all that good cool. stuff when it comes down to, our, to the stroke, okay?
until then, if you want to stick around, just stick out for a couple more seconds, we'll get right into the cool down. Good job, guys. Hope you did round two. If you didn't, that's totally fine. Okay, so we're going to do our, we're going to bring it down. We're going to open up that chest, really squeeze that upper back, and you're just going to hold. <sighs> Oh, really good job today, guys. Hope you found something out of this. Again, these are drills that you can do on your own. These are things that you can incorporate into your own workout. Okay, what I really want to just stress the point is, is that these are things that you could do incorporating into your own routine. Go ahead and relax. You're gonna shake it out here, kind of hug yourself. Okay. Now, if you really want to get a full-on workout, I'm actually now offering specialized classes via Zoom. Just go to paddlesynergy.com, look for Paddle Synergy Online Training. Everything is beta right now. If you sign up this week, you'll get that. You'll get the first month free. Okay, so go to paddlesynergy.com, Paddle Synergy Online, and then type in free on the cap on the discount code, and it'll be for this week only, this week only. Okay, and you can give it a shot, try it out. And the classes are at 8 a.m. Um, and 6 p.m. Monday, Wednesday, and then classes again on Tuesday, Thursday, but it will be at 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. Uh, 6 p.m. classes will be ERG specific, so if you have your own ERG, recommend you come out and do that as well. If you don't have an ERG and you can only do 6 o'clock, that's fine. I'll have a workaround for you. Go ahead and get your hands up, up to the sky and stretch it out. <sighs> really stretch out, stretch it out. Okay, drop that one hand, left hand drop, and stretch out that arm. And drop the hands for sides. It's really important, gang, especially if you're over 40. Get those stretches in, get that warm up in before, and stretch out after doing that cool down. We're not in our 20s anymore. Even if you're 20-somethings, you should be doing this as well. Get your hands out and stretch out. Bring those arms out. Just think about it. every time when you do some kind of work, your muscles get knotted up. You need to open up those knots, otherwise those knots are going to be there. And then bring those hands down. Straighten up those knees. Oh, one last stretch here. Push down to the ground. And then slowly, one vertebrae at a time, come on up. Get in. One more. And out. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the workout. I know it was a quick one, but again, only going to be doing one round. Recommend doing the second round again. And lastly, check out CaliPaddler.com. Discount code Paddle Synergy. And then if you're interested in doing the exclusive Paddle Synergy workouts that, are, that I'm doing over Zoom, you can check out paddlesynergy.com. You can try it out for one week for free, okay, if that's something that you'd like to do. Um, and by all means, give it a shot, okay? Um, and I'll have more on that information down below. And if you have any questions, have any comments, please, please, please post them on the comments below. I'll be sure to try to get back to you as I can. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. I cannot stress enough. It makes a big help. It gives me a little bit more functionality as far as YouTube's concerned. It's kind of what YouTube does. The more subscribers you get, the more functionality content creators could, could provide and just provide a better experience all around for each and every one of you. Tell your friends, tell your, tell your, tell your loved ones if they're interested in wanting to get better at uh, understanding the mechanics of the, of the paddle stroke, please send them my way. All right, guys. Hope you be safe and being healthy and keep yourselves moving. Have a good one.